Okay, who makes fake mobile ad game ads? Dude. You guys want some funny Alana lore? When I was in college and I had to drive, not drive, um, sit on a bus for about all right. Anyway, um, back to the Alana lore. So when I was about I don't know, like 20 or 18 or 20, uh, I couldn't like play video games very much because I had to spend like around about four hours going back and forth between college and my parents' house. And I downloaded a bunch of mobile games because I refused to give them any money. What I would do is <laughs> what I would do is download like seven different uh, games and cycle between them because the way they gate they gatekeep you from playing the game is you have to spend money to like, you know, finish your chores and do that stuff. I would just cycle through all of them while I was riding the bus. And then because you'd cycle through them perfectly in that time, you could just start with the first game that you loaded up in about an hour and a half into the bus ride. Good times. Uh, I hated riding the bus, like genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Really, really hated it. You gamed the mobile game vaults. Yeah, I did. But this is what it reminds me of. Who makes the fake mobile games? And what you would do is you would watch those ads to, like, you know, get bucks and, like, you know, get the currency from those games. Thought it was interesting to look at. If you do literally anything online, you've been hit with targeted ads. ads. From barbecue sauce ads. to Kevin Hart hawking me shorts. Your shorts don't even have pockets! Targeted ads are competing against everything else on the internet for your attention. And if they can get ads. it, it can mean big I money. I love but ads. Unlike these ads, some targeted ads are purposefully misleading. I mean, look no further than the bizarre. <laughs> Biden gets destroyed. What the fuck is this? Despacito gone wrong. What? <laughs> what is this? Is this taking me two hours to work and back? And I always found it chill so long as I traveled outside of the school peak times. Yeah, it was Our terrible. Ads, Trump when was, I was running about Biden before the election. College. Here's how you can spot a zombie: look for someone who has a corpse-like appearance, exhibits aggressive behavior, craves human Biden flesh, blast! and utters incoherent moans and groans. Uh, I don't know. Uh, With your help, we can prevent the zombie uprising. I don't know what's worse: the fact that this is a real ad. That it's Trump a real ran, ad. Or the oh fact yeah. That it's a Thirty-minute loop. I, I think I've been hit by this ad before. This way to spend half an hour, but I think the worst <laughs> offender by far of this is the misleading ads used in app games. You've probably oh. seen a game like this pop up in your feed on Facebook or Instagram. Oh yeah, like 300 this times. This game just doesn't exist. And if you actually click on these ads, the game you download looks nothing like what you saw. Yo, these Giga Chad Mafia games, what are they like called? Awesome I don't even know. Doom, ran out and bought it, came home, put it in, and it was just a PDF of the Bible. <laughs> and it might seem <laughs> crazy that these app games are trying to catfish people, but the cringiest part of all is some of the tactics that these games use, which at its best... What the fuck? Huh? What? Huh? What? Best is over the top. I've never seen this before in my life. What? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> and at its worst what? is Spank literally. Wait, did he just spank his butt? I'm about to blow. <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> this is terrible. This is the worst thing I've seen in a long time. The washing machine one is up there. Holy shit. And at its worst is literally a game about creating your own harem of wives. And the game is being advertised to kids. It's unreal. But Very when these ads aren't busy showing fake gameplay or objectifying women they even get away with stealing from artists like cyanide <laughs> and happiness for example with zero repercussions wow what the fuck what the fuck 
<laughs> Yo, what the fuck? But why do they face zero repercussions? What? This is wild. I haven't played mobile games since like 2013 or 14. I forget. Dude, that is wild. Is this real? Like these aren't parodies that he made? Alana Fuego is um uh, wanna turn minutes over. He got the 2K. Hell yeah! Good for a Fuego. Azur Lane only, I think. These are real ads. Insa's lying. Oh shit. I lied. Fuck you, Insa. Wow. Did I mention these ads make hundreds of millions of dollars? And that's not what? just for these companies that develop the apps, but that's also the kind of money they generate for the platforms they add. I still can't believe Mark Zuckerberg's not a... He's not an alien, man. He's a fucking alien. Look at that face. Look at this mug. Hello, Spyrox. English, please. Hello, lizard man. He's pretending to be human. Dude, look at those lips. Your PNG looks like an alien, too. And so, what is your problem? You're so aggressive today. Come on. Go to bed. You want to get tucked in? You want to get tucked in by chat? <laughs> Fucking meanie. Advertise on. But it's oh the companies God. and the people that create these misleading ads that I want to talk more about today. Figure out why some of these companies are raking in a... <laughs> look at him hitting the gritty, man. You know what? The lizard man is slather you up in sweet baby rays. Nope, I do not. Million dollars from ads like this, and more importantly, I love these ads. Ad They're like so bad. Make tech giants like Google millions. Screw it. Man. Oh yeah. I'm not monetized yet, so I can, you know, what? I can make this video. So let's dive deep into the app games. Okay, I'm that ready. Don't exist. Roll the. I freaking thing. love those Crime City ads. They're hilarious. Yeah, they're so bad. Giga Chad music too. Well, let me guess, it's Russia or China? Nope. It's it's like it's always like China or Indian like games. Yeah, I've never seen Russian ads that exist like this, or at least not where I where I'm from. When they advertise a puzzle game, but it's a gacha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Games that don't exist. Yeah. I feel like the most common type of fake game ad I've run into are these how to loot style ads. Mostly the ones from Hero Wars. The I've seen these a hundred times, this one specifically. Occasionally Where it looks like Darius. War. A good number of the ads have Aurora oh, no, being shackled or tied up to danger. Dude. Dude, I see these all the time, man. These are so weird. Homescapes is really bad with this. Yeah, Homescapes and Gardenscapes, those ones. Those are so bad. This is literally CBT. This shit gave me mobile game PTSD. Holy man. Try with the gloved hand too. Dangerous traps close by in the on-screen hand. What is rescue. wrong with Imagine this? Imagine Princess Peach getting tortured in a Nintendo commercial. Oh now, my god! Game is an idle RPG, and it's obviously much less enticing to look at in an advertisement. But because of public outcry, and I think to protect themselves from future lawsuits, they added a couple bonus levels very similar to the ads. Although this seems to rarely happen. However, the Hero Wars community was actually really stoked to finally see these puzzles from the ads actually injected into the game, as most of them started playing the game because of these ads. And that totally surprised me that this game, despite lying to get play? you in the door, has a legitimate fa People play this garbage, dude? Dude, how low IQ do you have to be to play this game? Like, I understand, like, playing a mobile game, but, like, I didn't play these games. I played, like, little, um, I, I played, like, this game called, um, uh, the little tower game. I played Heyday. Because those ones you could just turn off and they would just play by themselves or something. Angry Birds, yeah, I played Angry Birds and Fruit Ninja. Like, those are what they are advertised. Like, they don't lie to you. These ones are so bad. Fan base that loves it. That's like if I went to go buy Yeah, I played Heyday, and, and they weren't a scam. Like, they had mobile games, like, well, so. Well, I do have this Zune. 
And instead of being mad, you're just like, this little bad boy holds audiobooks? And the shitheads trying to sell you this Zune are the kings of this style of ad. A company located off the coast of Syria and Cyprus known as... Syria and Cyprus? Those are the ones that make the game sense? People play Cookie Clicker and Candy Crush, are you really surprised? Yeah, but Candy Crush and Cookie Clicker, they are what they are. And, and Cookie Clicker, first of all, Cookie Clicker, you don't have to pay for it. It's just a free game. Candy Crush is more of a scam because they make the game so difficult that you have to eventually get to the higher levels that they become impossible to clear unless you pay money. But these ones are literally like AFK idle games that advertise themselves as something else. Cookie Clicker Dev is still on Tumblr too. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That guy's a fucking crazy, crazy person. Cyprus known as Nexters Global. Nexters makes millions Nexters. off running these misleading fake ads. I mean, their CEO, Andre Fedev, was on the cover of East... Oh, he's Russian. Or maybe he's not. Andre Fedev. No, this is a Russian magazine. Wait, why is this a Russian ad? What? This is a Russian Forbes ad. He's not Russian. Or is he? Where is he? Uh, game dev? Where is he from? I want to know. Oh, never mind. I have to click a capture. Hero Wars. Maybe he is Russian. It sounds like a Russian name, but I could be wrong. If someone could confirm or deny that. That'd be sick. He's an AI. Nah, nah. He's a real Mr. person European for sure. Forbes, which sounds like a punchline, but it isn't. And he even hosted a Russian TED Talk in a spirit Halloween age. Costume, like he's fucking Sam Hyde. And it's Yo. weird how much his Forbes cover looks like Keith Raniere, the leader of that Nexium Colts Forbes cover. I, I don't know what point I'm trying to make here. That is so funny, man. Holy shit. It's just it's strange. Why is he in Syria? That's so wild, yeah, man. I mean, he seems to be a pretty serious guy when he's not, you know, dressing up like. He looks crazy as fuck. I love it, dude. He looks like a super villain. Yo! But companies like Nexters Global, they know their game. Cyprus, not Syria. Kind of views and down. But he he said Cypria, Cyprus and Syria over here, wherever he showed the flag. Downloads if they didn't fake these ads. When they try to make legit ads, it goes less than well besides cyprus the off the coast is here oh my bad okay my bad trying to say archipelago win the archipelago tournament earn skulls <laughs> i honestly what the fuck archipelago cash in all your pelvic bones it's the obvious <laughs> question is why don't these ad platforms take down these fake ads well it's because it makes them you money follow the money but yeah you start to follow the money and you don't know where the fuck is going to take you all these platforms make millions allowing these fake oh, ads yeah. to run. And even worse, a lot of these ads run inside of other Game ads, of War, so Fire Age. Stop spreading it all to each other like herpes in a Love Island Ew. hot tub. The FTC actually had to step in in another case with this company, Jesta Digital. Hi, Clay. This is Jesta Digital, a worldwide leader in... Why is his face... Like, his mouth is not sticking up with his face, like the voice. Dude, this is mobile entertainment and so much more. <laughs> it looks like this guy's only a worldwide leader in having dead eyes. We Dude, he's got products, we develop them, and we market them. Dude, it looks like he's out of sync, man. He's an AI, probably. This is we terrible. control every Eyes step of the process. Well, then they really have no excuse, do they? So, what were they in trouble for? They were running fake antivirus ads in Angry Birds. But there was no antivirus <laughs> app, but rather your $10 app store purchase was for ringtone credits. <sighs> I mean, antivirus and ringtones, it feels like I'm back in the 2000s. 2000s, dude. Aim and starve my Neopet. Do you guys remember buying this shit? I remember buying one singular one of these and I was like, dude, $5 for one song? I'll get scammed. And I was like, I never did that ever again. 
Oh, the mush just woke up. Nice. Dude, like, this is a throwback. Five euros? Who buys ringtones now? No, no one does. I'm saying back in the day, like in the 2000s, that you would pay $5 for one song. Those ads taught me how to pirate. Yeah, same here. Yeah. That's, by the way, I wanted I to bought it once for $5. Between Scientology and Neopets, because I actually live right by the Scientology headquarters, and we did a podcast what? episode about it. It's it's crazy. They, they own crazy. Neopets. It's wild. Anyway, back on topic. I played Neopets. The company just did digital with the fake antivirus awesome. ads. They knew they were running Remember a Crazy scam Frog? And yes. Even openly talked about it in emails. We provide our employees with the best working environment. Right, guys? Yeah, he's right. Something about this guy made. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? Send help. Yeah, he's gonna he's got a gun to his like back right here. Crazy eyes. Yeah, he looks fucking crazy. <laughs> this green screen looks weird too. Like look at the outline of his look at this outline of his shirt. Oh, it looks awful. Is he AI? No, his fingers look intact. Makes me Holy. feel like he's being forced to say this at gunpoint. He's the definition of manga s right We've now. Everything. We've got Xboxes, uh, soft seats as well, and a very nice office. Believe it. But you don't have to take their word for it. Good, I don't. I'm now scared. This company that Someone on take the me record away. Defrauded people decided to include a I bunch love of my job. Yeah, I'm not footage getting from this paid. video. I'm not getting gun pointed to my so head. So I'm not telling you to do anything, but anything you do is your artistic merit. <laughs> <laughs> but all these ads so far are nothing. Why did he have the burning towers, man? That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> they have no chill, man. They have a 9 11 <laughs> tower burning in the background. Compared to the most memed oh hot my god fire of the bunch, Mafia City. Mafia City, Mafia City is so good, clear, man. Misleading ripoff title of both Mafia and Mafia Wars, somehow, which is like, you know, kudos to you. Did anybody else play one. Mafia Has Wars on Facebook? I love that shit. It was awesome. When in reality, its real gameplay looks more like this. What the um. fuck? It seems really stupid. These ads are so over the and top. And Vampire Wars, yes! I loved Vampire Wars, dude. Facebook, dude! I played that fish game on Facebook. I played Mafia Wars. I played Vampire Wars. It was awesome. I was a little fucking kid. It was great. I didn't have, like, a PC to, like, play games on. Farmville? Yo! I played Farmville, too. Yeah, I did. I did. No shot you played those? Yep, I sure did. I was a little kid and I loved it. It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. The Muppet song and the iconic guy I didn't know any better. Saying, I just thought it was fun. That's how Mafia works. That's how Mafia <laughs> Sorry, works. Kid, that's, just, that's just how Mafia works. <laughs> wow, the Shanghai <laughs> company that makes Mafia City is actually looking for a new ad team. So if you think you got what it takes to crank out the hit. <laughs> Why is he smacking his ass to the guards? It's with the big boys. Just don't make oh anything God. like this last ad that recently got them removed from a ton of sites, including Pandora. This ad featured a tied up woman, Tabe Co <laughs> Boss, I won't betray you. Torture, finish her. Oh my God. I can't. I'm going to beat myself. That's so funny, dude. Oh my Ring god. Mouth, and your only options are to torture her or kill her. <laughs> Finish her, yeah, kill nice. her. Hey, which one do I pick for the good ending? This sexism runs rampant in these games. There's even an entire game I mentioned earlier that's about building a harem of wives. In this game, be the king. I mean, that's just how it was back in the day. I don't know what, what you want. Plays a government official controlling a noble family in feudal China. Women were just like Trigger, baby what? makers back in the day. Like in those in those time periods, it's just like all you were good for is being being a, a baby maker. Birthing you, birthing your emperor a son. I don't, I don't know why that sucks. Us. It was history. <laughs> it sucked. Yeah. You will find a tourist official them here. A real officer oh, simulation game. Become your first primary officer. 
Oh my god, become the first emperor. Can you do better than me? Can you do better than me? <laughs> You're trying to gain power oh, and so much to is awesome. status of lordship or even kingship. And a major Promoted way successfully, hell yeah. A large group of wives and concubines. Ooh, she, she gregnant. They're all gregnant. There's a button where you can summon your wives, and if you thought they were going to be subtle at all about hiding the fact that you're fucking in this game advertised to kids, well, they immediately give you children. She always greets you with the same line before sex. Pop quiz hot. They get naked? Plap, plap, plap. Thank you, Doros. Thank you. Cherish presents. Wait, presents skill. She takes the patrol very patrol very seriously. Having a place in your heart is enough. Intimacy one, offspring one, charm forty. What the fuck? Hot shot. You're gonna want to make. That's sure how it works in real life. True. Because you actually need to rack up intimacy points. Intimacy gets points. Mad whenever I call them intimacy points. That didn't stop this you game do. from making over forty million dollars and becoming one of the. Maybe I should start getting into mobile gaming, making mobile Alana. Top apps in all of Korea. In a very similar what? tone, we see another super sexy. 40 million fake fucking clams? Phoenix. But Legend of the Phoenix actually raises the shitbag bar by also stealing a bunch of its character designs from another game, Love Nikki. Now, Love Nikki's a game about dressing up your character, so okay. naturally the outfits and the particulars of them are super important to the player base. Okay. So Love Nikki fans were quick to notice that almost 20 stolen designs were seamlessly lifted. Wow. I mean, yeah, that is basically copying. They changed a few things, but like it's pretty much copying. It's like if someone took my dress and then like made it uh, made it the same color, but then changed the patterns a little bit. Beer be gonna ask wife what my intimacy score is. I bet it's like really high, like sixty nine or something. Did and added to this other Oh, oh, and then they added the bends of the. F oh, that's 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 just blatant, man. Yeah, and then the mirror. Yeah, that's just plain copying. Yeah, that's let me hit copy your homework, but don't make it obvious kind of moment. Yeah, even this little pattern, the, the dress is a little bit different. Yeah, that's that's just damn. That's, Bizarre that's copying. Bizarre game, Legend of the Phoenix. Yeah. These are designs that artists should be being paid for. Yeah! What the fuck, dude? One, two, three, one, two, three, four pandas. I like this one way more. It looks cute as fuck. For while these apps are making millions and millions of dollars. Wow. The only silver lining of this game is that it has the holy grail of hilariously bad Holy apps, shit. Which I will now play for you in full. I present incredibly bad ad theater. And I can't wait. God, I need to I need to fucking I need to pee. Hold on, chat. I'm I really need to pee right now. I'm thinking I'm going to pee myself laughing if I don't. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be like two seconds, okay? I need to pee. Sorry, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was I was holding. That was fast. It was a speed run. Okay, I'm ready. Now I can laugh as much as I want. <laughs> Don't scatter! Come back! Come back, come back, come back. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Entry one. The okay. dirty baby ad. The dirty baby. Hey, trying to run. I'm a stew baby. They couldn't have hired some better script writing or <laughs> wait, let me feed you into a fat baby. What the fuck? Let me feed you into a fat baby. What? No. So, you can only be mine, baby. Ah, mm. uh, I'm dirty. Uh huh. What am I watching, dude? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Google Translator, dude, I don't even know if that's Google Translate. I think that's like a really bad Riz. Oh my god. 
Now, this other company, 89 trillion, straight up steals from Cyanide and Happiness for their ads, ripping okay. off the iconic webcomics art style, even though their game just has a normal stick figure. Their game Word Story is apparently a word-based puzzle-solving game that involves escaping a prison. Now, okay. I haven't played the game, but the game's story apparently stars this stick figure, and it's described as Shawshank Redemption with stick figures. So they even stole that, which is... <laughs> that's cool. But for okay. 89 trillion, stealing clearly works. Since Word Story has over 102 million... Guys, I think I need to quit Twitch streaming. I said I should go make a mobile game and just rip people off. Like I, I'm, I'm so disappointed. Like how I thought these were like for really low IQ people and they make no money, but they do. Downloads, and that's just one game of many that 89 trillion has made and promotes like this. Instead of shutting down these ads, Facebook Gaming did a story on the COO of 89 trillion and all her struggles and her commitment to making games for women. <laughs> She's CBT right there, man. Dude, and yet this is what we have. Now, honestly, this video was cool. Oh my god, I'd man. I'd love to get behind this chick. She seems like a badass female game maker, but in reality, she's falling into the same cheap, shitty tricks that the rest of the garbage in her industry is doing. Wow, with this ad, they even managed to be transphobic. I'm getting pretty close to my piece of shit bingo with these guys. 89 Trillion's website is this sparse is insane, with info man. about them, but their slogan is, we love games. We, we never, never stop. Yeah, I bet you never do, because it makes you so much money, dude. Oh my never god. Stop. Jesus. It's like a threat. Speaking of a threat, there's a looming giant we haven't talked about yet. And I've been oh yeah, the biggest Playrix, the yep. The Russian company, Playrix. Yep. And my fiance's actually been duped by their game Fishdom, and their games Gardenscaped and Homescape are juggernauts. <laughs> Chat, I have played a... Uh... I've played, I've played Homescapes and Gardenscapes. <laughs> the App Store. They got in hot water and had to actually add levels similar to their game. So they yeah. included one level, but that one I level have. is so- You fell for the scam? Um, I played it for like a day or two. Yeah, I played it for like a day or two. I was really bored. I never bought anything, like ever. I've never, I've never bought like anything from a mobile game except for uh, Fruit Ninja. I played, I paid like $3 for that once, but- it, it, it astounds me, man. You should listen to them. Uh, you should uh, suck a wiener. That's what you should do. So far into the progression of the game that they reported that less than 0.03% of players that clicked on the ad and downloaded the game actually made it to the stage reflected in the ad. But that what? hasn't stopped crazy profits for the company, as Playrix made over a billion dollars during COVID. Come on. What? A <laughs> billion dollars? Dude, I'm in the wrong business chat. Honestly, I should just I should just make a mobile game. I'll make a I'll make call it uh Foxcapes and uh then they can try and sue me and it'll it won't work. Yep. Yeah, 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 Come I'll on, do who that. Do you think you are? Lysol? They even turned around and acquired an Armenian mobile game developer and a Croatian-based publisher, so they're definitely <laughs> growing. Again, like herpes in a Love Island hot tub. Playrix started as a computer game company back in the 2000s, but once they found the mobile market and more specifically that's amazing. started to promote their games as more impressive and fun than they actually were, that's when these brothers found their true success. In this April 2019, awesome, the owners, Igor and Dimitri, made it onto the Bloomberg Dude. Billionaire Index. What? That's crazy, man. This game was made in Unreal, Unreal Engine Five for real, for real, true. Dude, this is this is this is insane. Worth three plus billion each. What? I mean, I get why they're lying. Other games have such cool and dynamic trailers, and when your core gameplay is fucking moving beads, you gotta spice it up. And hey, yeah. three billion bucks in the deal for you. you but know? still, people. People still play it and they think it's fun, so I don't know. Like, I can oh, see it. Fuck it. 
That's called defrauding the consumer. Now, just a couple weeks ago, two of Playrix's ads got banned, so here's to hoping this crap gets wiped out soon. In <laughs> fact, there's a popular change.org petition and a growing subreddit dedicated to these fake ads, so at least there's more awareness being shined upon them. Looks like mm -hmm. an indie developer is even making an app that's based on a version of this game. So if that looked fun to you, I suggest you go try and find that and give that a try. I'll link- Wait, they actually made a real game based on them. That's fucking hilarious. No ads, level one, and it's a recolor of that Darius looking motherfucker in all the ads. It's awesome. To it in the description. Bottom line is this is a bad practice that needs to stop. I don't really mind Kevin Hart selling me shorts if he's honest about it. About the what? Put that on. You put that on. I'm sick of your outfit. Here goes some pants for you. This is all for you. You need to change everything. But is honesty <laughs> important when these fake ads are making you potentially billions of dollars? Google and Facebook have no reason to crack down on these practices unless more pressure is put on them to do so. The biggest problem is these platforms are enabling this. There's so many Mafia City ads. Babe Mafia Boss. Look at those badonkas too. Ads, it fills an hour and a half of YouTube videos. You don't run that many ads for a company without knowing what they're up to. It's the fact that these ad accounts are spending hundreds of thousands, if not up to billions of dollars. So That's maybe powerful, it's not a man. matter of them being these weird small companies falling through the cracks. And maybe it's a matter of them being major revenue sources for these platforms. Mafia City has got here. Dude, Mafia City ads are actually up there. I, I think they're just the, one of the best, the funniest, and you can meme all over them. So the next time you see one of these annoying ads and you wonder why it's even up there... Just follow the money, baby. They baby. make so much money. Mm. Oh, I'm dirty. I'm dirty. Guys, thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And if you like weird Dude. internet stories, check out my podcast, Extremely Internet, that I do about weird internet stories and internet culture. I also have a podcast called Development Hell about <laughs> movies that were really fucking hard to make. So check that was a great video. Oh, shit. What the hell? Whatever. Um, great video. Who makes fake mobile ads? Wait, clap, clap, clap. Clap, girls. Alana, let's talk offline and make a game. Yes, chat. We'll make a game together. We'll make it like Foxscapes. Good video. Very informative and just showed the craziest shit ever. I wish I could see more of these, man. All the stupid Afia ads. Holy, so powerful. <laughs> Mafia Fox, I'd probably get sued. <laughs> I would get sued for Foxscapes and Mafia Fox. Make Alana game where we can date her. What the fuck? And then I can say, oh my god, I'm so dirty. I'm a fat baby. Is there a compilation video? Probably, if I had to guess. Maybe someone could post that you laugh, you lose submission, but like it's it's those for like five minutes or something. Like a couple of minutes worth. Nut. Nut. I'm a dirty fat baby. <laughs> oh my god. So you get the characters along, it costs a thousand dollars to date her? Dude, that's cheap. AI of waifu Alana dating sim that just calls you stinky and downloads a Bitcoin miner. Yo, base. Actually, that'd be awesome. One K date is cheap. I got no chance. Yeah, for um maximum Alana five star, it's like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. That's like a Dow payment for a house, isn't it? I haven't been looking into the housing market recently, but yeah. Make the outfits gotcha. Air Vortex, you're being too evil, man. 20k? Yeah. We can make it stamina based too. You have to pay money to get more stamina. Yes! It's a down payment. Yee. It's not 1k for a one star. It's actually 1k for a basic bitch, zero star character. Yes! So it's 1k for the basic bitch, zero star, and then 20k to max her out. Yep. That sounds amazing, actually. Chat, you're kind of, kind of giving me ideas. <laughs> You guys are scaring me. <laughs> oh my god. Five bucks to downgrade your relationship. No, 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 no. Fifty bucks. I've given probably too much thought into this already. True. Let's do this thing. I will code. We are assembling a team. Let's make a shitty mobile game. I'm ready. 
Everyone gets a little cut. You get all get 1%. Out of my $1 billion? Can I help code this too? Hell yeah. Does this include the Bitcoin miner the embedded link to your stream? <gasps> Yo, Monstra, you are thinking ahead. Embedded link to stream. I'd have like a million viewers, man. Dude, that's deep as fuck, man. Fucking Bitcoin miner and embedded stream. Whoa, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we're not cooking with fire, we're cooking with gas. Actually based, dude. I'm scared of you. You guys have some fucking crazy ideas. <laughs> Bitcoin miner. Assemble the scam options, dude. Do you like if extra live embed the stream to a site? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's fucking scary that you guys thought of that. An embedded Alana Twitch stream in the mobile game. Try to uninstall Alana just pouts and gills trips you. Yeah, and I tell you to piss yourself if you don't if you uh if you uninstall it or try to uninstall it. Oh, and then if if you uninstall it, you get a virus and I start screaming on your phone constantly. Until you reinstall it. <gasps> it's like malware. Yes. We can make the prettiest gacha outfits and NFTs. <gasps> this is fucking powerful. It reinstalls except after you restart your phone computer. Yes, I'm like a Trojan. Guys. You're scaring me. These are some fucking hooked ideas. It's like McAfee, yes. If you uninstall, it puts a virus into a starting screen at least an install button. Yes. Wasn't Trojan a horse? Uh, Wakey, I don't know if you know this, but Trojan viruses are... It's like the same thing. It's like... It, that's why they're called Trojans. They disguise themselves as something and then they pop out and it's a virus, yeah. Were they just literally making a virus? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It can run virus scans and link to re-download the app to stop the scans. <laughs> it's like you're downloading an antivirus, but the antivirus is actually a virus. Yes! It's not a virus if it's consensual, it's a TOS. Yes! <laughs> Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Fucking shit on calm piss myself. Fuck 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 piss my piss 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 piss